So that was all the models that they have. Well, there are a lot more, but it was the largest uh, collection that they have all together. So it was in part two. And yeah, here's another big model. Big display. And this, is, this isn't the real thing, but this is just a replica of one of the guard houses from World War II. You can see my reflection face reveal. <laughs> In Trooperville. And this was a B-29. One of the remote gun trainer. Used to sit right there. This is a bubble. They had like a machine gun coming out. So yeah, this is pretty cool looking. You know, this way. Here's some big other big model aircraft. The largest model model aircraft in the collection probably. Well, no, there's just a couple over there, but. A little handmade one. And there's a tail gun for a B-52 bomber, right there. That's pretty cool. I was always wondering what the back of it looked like. That's pretty cool. I was able to find one. And there's another little model of a Curtis GN-4. In front of a Continental, or the Continental R670 engine, 200 horsepower. Pratt and Whitney R4360 Allison J35 turbojet engine that all that numbers I'm not going to say all that this is off a of B17 this is pretty cool this is actually this is off an actual B17 this is the nose of the machine gun I'm gonna be pointing out right here and right there right there and right there 
That's pretty cool. And we have this right here. You can pause the video if you want to read all your, everything. Another face reveal. My Joe Sagano shirt. Need that. Blimp. I won't pause to read that. And then, there's right here. There's some more engines. I have like quite a big of a engine collection here. Pratt and Whitney J57 Turbo. And here is an engine off of the C130 Lockheed. I want to be more correct. Lockheed C130 Hercules. So this is pretty cool. This is a huge engine. And now I'm kind of starting to come to the airplanes. And this right here has it is pretty interesting. This used to be an unmanned uh, craft. It used to be a bomb and missile in itself. But then they changed it to a crew where they could actually drop bombs and other stuff right there. And this is a Nazi Germany aircraft. This is pretty cool. They have this in the collection. Probably the coolest of all of the inside collection. The outside, not really. But outside, there's some pretty cool aircraft. But this is one of the cooler ones that is in pretty good condition. So, there's some more model aircraft. There's the engine. There's an aircraft right there. Yeah. There's an armband. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Man, they got quite a bit of Nazi Germany stuff right here. This is pretty cool. They don't see too many, too much of that in America. Most of that would burn down. Pissed off at them. So, that stuff is pretty rare for uh, Germany. 1946 Funk. First, I thought this was from like the 60s or 70s, but the 40s, I was way off. <laughs> Here's another little model of a prototype of a drone aircraft. So that's pretty cool. And there's a uh, 1973 Stop Starlet. This was almost kind of like a little, um, crap, whatever you want to call it, um, sports aircraft, I guess. You don't want to call it that. And this right here, I actually think there's something that's on the other side I'll go look at. But... And this is 1946 Ukrope. This is a pretty cool aircraft. I like how the wing design is. It looks pretty cool looking. It's pretty small. And then over here, well, we got a little Vespa <laughs> scooter from the National Park Service. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and I got a little mock up of a Boeing P 26. They had it at uh, the Kelly Air Force Base. Donated to the Texas Air Museum. This is pretty cool. As you can tell, like, how... Well, I think it was a model, though. Yeah, it's a model. It's not a real engine. That's pretty cool looking, though. And there's that. If you want to read that, if you can. And then this is off a AT-6 Mosquito during the Korean War. That's pretty cool. And this and this airplane right here is going to leave in a month. It originally came off the USS Lexington. Um, however... And this month, next month, they're going to go to North Carolina. I forgot what the town was, but to a museum there. 1942 Howard. And this is a pretty cool aircraft. You can tell it was Navy, obviously, with the USS Lexington. I actually went on that ship in July. I didn't record anything. Sorry about that. I should have, but... Yep, this is pretty cool looking. I did see an aircraft very similar to this, too. And there's a big ladder going up. Big antenna going underneath the wing right now. There's a little U.S. Navy thing. That might be from the Lexington, too. No, I'm just used by the U.S. Navy. It doesn't say anything specifically. Here's more of that right there. Here's a propeller from a North American T-28. On this side, we got a 1928 Waco 10 with... Used for barnstorming. I forgot what that is. This is a pretty cool-looking biplane. pretty cool looking. One of the only uh, biplanes from the modern biplanes wise. There's a Piper J3 Cub. I'm gonna read it. Pretty cool. They got a little Snoopy mailbox. 
So this is pretty cool. And then here's a 1968 uh, Pi Temple air camper, home built with the five cylinder Lambert radical engine. This is pretty cool. Even though this is actually leaf from World War II, I meant World War One, as you can see, because it's not biplane, but it custom made with a little bullet hole, so that's pretty cool. Everything on the side. And what all those things mean? The British, the Snoopies, I believe, is American. And the Oops, well, yeah, they just shot their own aircraft like a dummy, but <laughs> it was pretty hard back then. And then this, there actually is no information on this for some reason, but this is obviously from like about the, probably the 70s or the 80s. The little, um, air show kind of airplane. And here's a British backburn monoplane model. Pretty cool looking. You want to read all that? There's a Goshawk. And another miniature model. This actually was like a little pedal car, I believe, made for his son. So this is pretty cool looking. So, if I, if I was younger, I could probably fit in there. But yeah, this is a little for his son. It was a little toy, so that was pretty cool. And this is a pretty cool, weird looking aircraft. It looks kind of like a flying saucer. As you can see right there, that's what it originally looks like. Whenever they first find it, it was a barn find kind of deal. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Let me see if I can get it raised up. Eh. Yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty weird looking. That looks cool though. I got more model airplanes right here. Oh yeah. Even though this is a real, I forgot, I forgot to mention this, but. This is just a little practicing, it's not the actual thing, but. Um, there's a description to that over there. It's, it's like a little trainer, it's a little show thing. It's not the actual part of the airplane. That would be cool. But the actual one, I believe, is actually at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Or New York. I think Washington, Washington D.C. But we have some other random stuff. 50 caliber, 50, 500 pound bomb. 50 caliber machine gun ammunition, 75 millimeter projectile. 50 caliber gun barrels. Those are pretty worn out. Crap. And then here's a bunch of airplanes right here. A 1910 Avro. So, yeah, this is pretty old. I think this is a Repuck Repu Repu Combat. And there's some other large aircraft models. And this is. No, that's not it, actually. And this S that you had the, on the Lexington whenever I went there. A little, uh, it's from the Winnie Museum, but it's a World War II trainer. So that's pretty cool. And here's another trainer. If you want to read that from a T-37, I'm supposed to represent that. And here's the F-4 Phantom ejector seat. Then over here, I believe this the right X, I think. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Um, I don't know what airplane this is. Here's another one. And this is the lucky. No, that's not it. That's some fabric from it. And here it is. Not early, but biplane. One of the first ones built. Sure, the other exhibits I didn't show earlier. Some POW. Stuff in there. I don't think I should have anything. This is a two T thirty seven cockpit simulator. Oh, I'm gonna take this over. You don't go in there. <laughs> you can go in here. So yeah, this is 
little, uh, you can climb in here and take photos if you want. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And here's another airplane. I don't think I went over. And over here, we got a U.S. Air Force Cessna 237 aircraft instrument panel. Pretty cool looking. And then, yep, back where I started. There's a lot more part of the museum. I won't record that because there's nothing really interesting over there. But, um, yeah, that's part two. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.